Hi, I'm Beth with American Patchwork and Quilting, and today I'm sharing tips for sewing Block 9 in our Bright New Day Block of the Month. You can find the link to the free pattern in the video description. So this block uses the stitch and flip technique, which is used in many popular blocks. For this technique, you draw a diagonal line across the wrong side of a square or rectangle, place it in the corner of another piece of fabric with right sides together, then you stitch along that line, trim, them and press the marked piece open. So that's where the name comes from. You stitch, then flip. Both the flying geese units and the square and the square units use this method, so I wanted to share some tips for successful stitch and flip blocks. I've got my four and a half inch squares and my two and a half inch squares here to create the square and the square unit. Now note that one of the corners is going to be a different fabric. So first I drew a diagonal line on the back of all of my two and a half inch squares. Be sure to draw your line with a thin pencil or fabric pen. The thinner, the better. If your line is really thick like this one, you might sew at a slightly different angle and just not get your seam in the right spot. So use good light when you're sewing so you can stay as close to the marked line as possible. If you have the option, this Husqvarna Viking Epic 95Q does allow me to turn up the LED work light so I can get a lot of light on my pieces and then if you have a laser light, I love to use these for stitch and flip blocks because you can put that laser right on the line and make sure you're following it accurately throughout the piece as you're sewing. The finished stitch and flip unit should end up the same size as the original square, which was four and a half inches. If you're finding yours are turning out a little too small, try sewing a scant seam instead. So there's a natural bump where the flip or fold is in the attached fabric piece. Sewing approximately two threads away from the marked line into the seam allowance can give you a little bit of extra room that will get used up in the bump when you press. It might take a little practice, but it should help you piece units that are the correct size when stitching and flipping. I've completed all four of my square and a square units and my pieced flying geese units and laid out my block with the center square. And now I'll sew the block together in rows. Here are the two completed blocks. Today I was sewing with the Sincerely Yours collection by Sherry and Chelsea for Moda Fabrics. Such a cute line with the purples, pinks, and corals. And the second one is using the Coffee Chalk Collection by J. Wecker Frisch for Riley Blake Designs. What a perfect line for Java lovers, and it looks so cute with the coffee beans in the background. Stitch and flip your block nine and share your results with us. You can post in our Facebook group or on Instagram with the hashtag APQBOM2021. Have fun sewing block nine.